like Kanye, I'm bound to Shawty, if you down, I'm down to Yeah, I found you Told I like being around you Feel like Kanye, I'm bound to Shawty, if you down, I'm down to What's up, guys? Welcome back to this channel. I am bringing you a Flexi Rod tutorial um, on straight hair. Um, I am a natural and I normally do not wear my hair straight. It's normally in its curly state, but I did decide to straighten it. And if you want to see um, my straightening hair routine, definitely check it out. You can hit this link up top or you can check the description box out. But um, just a little backstory. So I straightened my hair and it was looking bomb. You know, I posted pics somewhere on the video and it rained. It rained. It never fails. Every single time I straighten my hair and clip my ends, it's either very humid outside or it rains. Like, it never fails. Like, if you are natural and that happens to you, like, let me know if I'm the only one that happens to when, like, you straighten your hair. It's all cute. It's flat. It's long. It's luscious or short, whatever. It's just looking beautiful. And then the rain just comes. Like, they don't want to see you shine out here. They don't want to see you look good out here. I, I just don't get it. But I'm going to quit rambling and get straight into it. So there are, there are three flexi rods that I'm going to be using in this video. So now that I look at these, like they actually all look the same size. Um, I can tell a slight difference though. So the gray is the smallest one. Then the pink or purple one. And then the biggest one is this orange one here. So the way that I do my flexi rods is I like to use the bigger ones toward the bottom of my hair and then use the smaller ones toward the top of my hair. So we are going to get started. So like I do in all my videos, I go ahead and just divide my hair into four sections. It's just way easier to go ahead and manage my hair. So that's what I am doing here. And then you want to make sure that your hair is actually completely detangled before you start to add in the flexi rod. So I am sectioning it and also detangling it. So I like to start my flexi rods at the very bottom or the ends of my hair, sealing those in and then rolling it all the way to the root. I know that some people will start midway through their hair and just roll the rest of the hair on the flexi rod that way. Um, whichever way works best for you, but this is the way that I like to do it. And then just go ahead and seal in the flexi rod and roll it. There are two ways that you can actually roll your flexi rod. The first way is rolling the flexi rod away from your face. Then the second way is rolling the flexi rod towards your face. If you roll the flexi rod away from your face, your curls will actually be outward. If you roll the flexi rod towards your face, your curls will be inward, framing your face more. Now here I am just bending the flexi rods just so they're out my way and also it just makes for more comfort when sleeping. Now I know you're probably wondering like how come I didn't use any hair set lotion or hair setting mousse or just anything to set my hair to hold the curls. Honestly, by this point, my hair had been straight for about two to three weeks and it was already pretty dirty and getting oily. So I just didn't want to add any more products to my hair. Because of that, the curls um, are less likely to last and will fall quicker. So if you do want more hold and for your curls to last longer, definitely use a hair set mousse, a hair set lotion or some kind of hair setting cream.
are finally finished people these are what the flexi rods are looking like they're not the easiest to sleep in but beauty is pain now it is time for the takedown and I did sleep in these overnight before I took them down so there are two methods of taking out your flexi rods. The first is this method here. So I like to just go ahead and unwind the flexi rod and in a spiral motion. That way I am keeping the actual spiral curl. The second method is actually scrunching up the spiral curl and taking it off the flexi rod set. And you get the same results for the most part. So again, I am just scrunching up the spiral curl and taking it off the flexi rod. Just using my God-given fingers and gently combing out the curls but not too much because I do still want um, the curls to show now these curls unfortunately will fall because I didn't put any setting mousse or lotion as mentioned before but that's okay so here I am just tugging and playing with it to my liking Stay tuned for my next video. Until next time, deuces!